Hello, my name is Caroline McGee, and I'm on the legal team at the Surveillance Technology Oversight Project, also known as STOP. Before I begin, I did want to take a moment to thank Chair Holden and the other council members on the committee for the opportunity to testify today. On to the reason I'm here, the Internet Master Plan is an ambitious, forward-thinking commitment that I and many other New Yorkers appreciate from the city. However, it does fail on privacy protections for the New Yorkers it purports to help. The plan itself claims privacy is one of the principles of the entire project, but that claim rings hollow compared to the actual programming offered. The city's plan points to consumer education through Library Privacy Week and the training as library staff answer questions as among their solutions, but consumer education is the false flag of internet security because it is often paraded as a solution to insecurity when it is actually a solution to liability, and to do it right requires enormous resource investment by the city. A potential example of a more useful piece of consumer education than what the city is talking about would be a specific guide about the data collection potentially taking place, with the names of every private entity involved at every level included. Importantly, this guide could not be in so-called legalese, and it would need to be in multiple languages. Even with real, accessible, meaningful consumer education, that would not be enough. New Yorkers also need legislative protection, only available from the people on this council, it is the reality of the country we live in that any data collected by an entity is just waiting to be tapped by law enforcement. And it is an inevitability, not a possibility, that any kind of public broadband will result in some data collection. This trove of data will only serve to further put New Yorkers of color and undocumented members of the community at risk of police overreach and abuse. Legislation could address this and make it so that the NYPD and other law enforcement bodies must obtain a warrant for the information from internet providers. The information collected about us on the internet is some of the most intimate and New Yorkers need novel legislation that will prevent government access to the data collected on them. This will prevent some of the more egregious harms practically guaranteed to occur when private actors are permitted to collect this information. More egregious yet is how the city also promises that it has improved its internal governance in recent years by creating the Mayor's Office of Information Privacy. This office publishes quarterly reports on data breaches from within the city government. And while that's important, it is equally important to put it into perspective. This is the absolute least the city could do. These reports are just an admission of data already misplaced. It's not a bad thing, but to consider privacy taken care of because this office exists would be a bad mistake. My final criticism comes from 10,000 feet up. This plan frames privacy as a race against elite black hat hackers who type quickly on bright screened computers in dimly lit rooms. And that's not what privacy is. Privacy has to be from everyone, including law enforcement. And until the city acknowledges that and takes the appropriate steps to honor the commitment that they have made in this plan with meaningful privacy protections, New Yorkers will remain in danger of having their privacy breached at the expense of internet access. Thank you. Thank you very much for your testimony. Chair Holden, do you have any questions to the panelists? Well, thank you, Caroline. And uh, uh, we don't even know, and I think you, you're probably a, uh, more of an expert than I am on this, but we don't even know what who's sharing our information, what companies, we, we're so blind on this. And I don't know if, it, you know, if technology is always one step ahead of us, even with legislation. So if you have any ideas on legislation, I'd, I'd like to communicate with you on this because I, we, we do, if we can prevent the invasion of privacy every time we um, log on to a site, obviously that we need to, we need to try to, um, to um, obviously, you know, legislate. Um, should, should there, you know, be New York City digital privacy laws that, you know, that we have, or do we have some now at all um, that, you, that you agree with? I don't think there's ne nearly enough at this point. Um, I think a, sort of a prime example of somewhere where that's where the ball's been dropped on that is the user policy for the Link NYC kiosks, which I heard you ask about earlier, um, Chair. I the user policy is sort of inscrutable and people don't know what they're signing off and they have to use the Wi-Fi. They need it as everyone in this meeting has acknowledged inter the internet is a necessity. Um, and there's nothing protecting New Yorkers from Link NYC. When you are 
um, you know, what is that saying? If you're not paying for the product, you are the product. Um, and I, I really worry about that for New Yorkers. Uh, my organization would love to be in further contact with you about legislation on, to that effect. Yes, because I, I, I'd like to, let's have a meeting soon on this because we do, um, we do care about this and we all have been violated, I think at one time or another, somehow um, by these, uh, they're selling our information and we know that. And every time we use even uh, a credit card, they have information on us. Uh, they know what we bought. They know where we bought this. They, they know w what we tend to buy and, and, and how it's being sold and how much money they're making. But th there, this is a, a, an issue that, again, with um, uh, working with John Paul Farmer's uh, office, the CTO's office, and do it, maybe we can prevent a lot of it. We, I don't know if we'll prevent all of it. But we need to have this has to be a big conversation, a big part of the Internet Master Plan. And I thank you for bringing this up, Carolyn.